Super Bowl 53 prop bets. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They've got six incredible sports books. You can find out more information on all six of them over at tunicatravel.com. You can find more information about us at winningcureseverything.com. Let's jump in. We're going to go over some of our favorite prop bets. We are using uh, the covers.com Super Bowl Party Pack prop sheet. And that is, uh, that's for all of you that are not actually really gambling on it. You're just doing your, your Super Bowl parties. And we're using the South Point NFL Championship prop sheet. So some of these you may not be able to find exactly what you're looking for, but, um, but down in Tunica at Hollywood and, and pretty much everywhere, there are going to be prop bets available. Yeah, all, all the casinos will have a prop bet package like this. Yep. So find the one that you like the most. And then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Uh, let's start off. You want to start off with the South Point one? All right. We'll start off with the actual gambling one, and then we'll move into the party prop sheet. Uh, South Point sheet. My first one. I like the Patriots over twenty nine and a half points. I think if they are going to win this game, I think they will need to score at least thirty. Okay. So I'm going to take the over 29 and a half. The juice on that is minus 125. So I, I think the Pats will put up a lot of points because the Rams are going to score. Uh, I still like it to be under 56, but, but I think 31 is, is the magic number for the Patriots, and that is over 29 and a half. I'm doing that one. All right. The one I like the most out of all of these bets, I'll get first, which is my – and there is no order other than this. Team totals first half. I like the Rams under 14. The juice on that, the EV on that is minus 120. And uh, I like the under. Patriots so far against the Chiefs, best offense in football. Held them to zero first half points. Against the Chargers, a top five offensive team this year in the NFL. Held them to seven. Yeah, they, they will keep them off the field. I, I think the first half, they are going to shut them down. I like that. Uh, next one for me, will there be a safety? The juice is crazy on it. It's minus 800, but I'm going no on this. These are two extremely well-coached teams. I don't think there is any way that, that you have got a safety in this game. I mean, when's the last time the Pats gave up a safety? I don't know, but... It, it, and same okay. with the Rams. That's fine. So I'm going, and, and yes, with that, you got to bet $800 to 100, but... Just don't be crazy. Bet bet fifty bucks, and and you'll win back what ten? I mean, we're not talking crazy stuff. I'm, I'm, anyway. Okay. So, do, all right. Do do that because it, there will not be a safety in this game. All right. Team to score first in the game, I think it's going to be the Pats. You'll lay a minus one fifteen, but like I said earlier, I think I think if they get the ball first, they're going to score first, and then I think um, even if they don't get the ball first. I think they're going to be able to come out and do something different defensively to, to cause the Rams some issues early in the game. Juice on that one is minus 115. I've got that one as well. Uh, first score of the game will be a touchdown. That's minus 190. We both got that one too. Right? I have that one as well. Yep. Shortest touchdown in the game will be, and fumble recovered in the end zone counts as the under. I've got under one and a half yards. I think there will be a one-yard touchdown run in this game. Minus 160 is the juice on that. Yes, it's a favorite thing, but absolutely, uh, I'm all over that. No, I'm the same thing. I've got that one as well. Uh, shortest touchdown in the game, minus one. Uh, minus one and a half. So, yeah, I think it'll be a one-yard game also. Uh, which one? I think we both got this one. Yep. So, so, the next one I've got is first touchdown scored in the game. Um, passing TD is minus 155. Any other TD, plus 135. I have any other TD. Uh, the Patriots have dominated the run game, um, and I think they will do the exact same thing this time. Well, and, and the Rams also. Yeah, I've if, scored if more Rams than score that's right. first. Tom has only gotten two touchdowns in the playoffs, and uh, Jared Goff's only gotten one. Yeah, uh, so the, both of these teams, when they get in the red zone, they run the football. Um, in my vision of this game, I think the Patriots will either get the ball first or get the ball punted to them. And then they will drive the field, they will score, and I think they will score rushing the football. Which half will have more points scored? Second half plus overtime is minus 145. The Pats shut down teams in the first half. 
and then they figure out ways to score in the second half. I think it's a no-brainer here. Second half and overtime, minus 145 is the play there. I've got that one as well. Um, and, yeah, the fact that you get second half and overtime. This is just the way the Patriots play football. Nothing else on, on that sheet for you? Nope. Will there be a roughing the passer penalty call in the game? Yes, is minus 150. I'm rolling with that one. Uh, and also, first turnover of the game. If there are no turnovers, bets are no action, so it's just a push. Interception is minus 125. These teams don't fumble. So, and, and Brady has he's getting a little older he will probably throw a pick in this game and jared goff throws picks against man defense that's what he does so the first turnover of this game is going to be an interception it's minus 125 that is the play on this one yeah i like that one as well um the next one i've got is <clears throat> what will the patriots do first score or punt i'm taking score uh because i think the first time they touch the football, they're going to do what they did in both games. They're going to drive it down the field. They're going to score. It's minus 130. Super easy. I took the same thing there. Uh, New England Patriots' first offensive touchdown. Rushing TD is plus 140. There's actually value with this. We talked already about Brady's only got two touchdowns in the playoffs. Sony Michelle has got five. Uh, it doesn't even have to be Sony Michelle. No. Rex Burkhead. They've got eight. He they've got eight in the playoffs. They've got yeah. eight rushing touchdowns. Tom's only thrown twice. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that. First offensive touchdown, rushing touchdown, plus 140. I'm all over that. So, on this sheet, I've also got what will the Rams do first? Score or punt? I've got punt, and I get that at an even. I lay no juice whatsoever. Um, like that bet a lot. And then I'll give, give another one. New England Patriots first score of the game, touchdown or field goal. I've got touchdown. Minus 155 juice on that. So I'm, I'm all in on my theory of how the game will start, and I'm making all of these bets according to that. Team to use the first timeout in the game. This includes Coach's Challenge uh, loss. I got the Rams minus 110. Sean McVay does not uh, love his timeouts. He doesn't caress them the same way that Belichick does. That's right. If something's going crazy with golf, he will not hesitate to call that timeout, pull him back over to the sideline, and calm him down. Uh, team to make the longest field goal in the game. Rams are minus 140. I think I'm probably going to roll with that. I, I'm iffy on whether or not I should play it because Zerline was out sick, or no, out with like a, a foot injury or something this week. But nobody's really talking about it. He's been missing practice, and they're not talking much. So, like, you know, I. I, if if he ends up being fine, if they say he's fine, I'm going Rams minus 40 on that. Will both teams have a lead in the first half? No is minus 140. I'm going no. I think the Pats score early, and they shut down the Rams. I, I think I'm in the same boat that you are on that. Um, I like that as well. Our last sheet, what, uh, what you got over here? The last bet I've got on the South Point uh, prop sheet, and these are just game props, uh, is – Total quarterback sacks in the game is four. I'm going under, laying two, uh, 120 for the juice on that. I got that same um, Tom has been sacked zero times. Uh, Jared Goff has only been sacked once. Both of these teams get the ball out very fast, uh, and, and they run pretty efficient offenses for keeping their quarterback upright. I've got two more because I also had that sacks under. Okay. Total interceptions by both teams in the game. I'm going over one and a half. That is plus 120. Brady has thrown picks in the playoffs. Goff has thrown picks against – we, we talked about this before. Uh, and then also total fumbles lost by both teams in the playoff or in the game. Uh, under one and a half is minus 250. These teams just don't fumble. And, and I don't see where it starts here. So I'm going under the one and a half. It's minus 250. I know it's a lot of juice, but – I mean, it's one and a half. If you even give up one, you still win the bet. So that's where we are on that one. Let's move over to the Super Bowl party pack. So for those of you that are not actually gambling on it, but you just want to see, you know, what we think about it and, and which way you should go. You can bet on most of these things. You can find a prop bet somewhere to gamble on a lot of these deals. So if you're going down to Tunica or something like that, you can find a prop for these. This is the Covers.com Super Bowl party pack prop sheet. Um, Pass out at your Super Bowl party. Yeah, you have can, people make picks. You can go download it at covers.com. We might do one next year. Who knows? We'll see. 
Uh, but this is, it, it's a lot of fun for everybody that's actually watching the game that doesn't really know a whole lot about it. Uh, will any player take a knee or raise a fist during the national anthem? No. I don't think that's happening. Uh, will the coin toss be heads or tails? I like heads here. I just, <laughs> So you're just picking a bunch of these. And so yeah, and some of these, and I'm not picking all of them that are on this prop sheet. But I, I just I marked heads. I was like, all right, which team will score first? I think we both got the Pats. Uh, first score of the game, I've got as a touchdown. You got that one? Oh, I mean, yeah, but I, I've got it in the other bet. On yeah. This thing, I only pick things that were not on that other sheet. First turnover in the game will be an interception. Uh, d- 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 most catches between Brandon Cooks and Julian Edelman. Who you like there? I think Julian Edelman. I think Edelman gets targeted a lot in this game. Uh, most rushing yards, Sonny Michelle or Todd Gurley. I think Gurley is still dealing with an injury. They just don't want to talk about it. I don't, I don't think Gurley's injured at all. Even if he's not injured, I still like Michelle in this game. I think Gurley, his feelings are hurt. Because a guy that's been bounced around the league has outplayed him, and he is not handling that well emotionally. I could, uh, I could understand that. You still agree with that, Sonny Michelle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I just we just have different logic. Longest field goal scored in the game, over under forty five and a half yards. You taking that one? I'm not. No. I was going under forty five and a half. Um, will there be a missed extra point kick? No. This game is too important for that. That's the, that's the first one I've got. Both kickers are pretty good. Um, and and yeah, I, that's the that's the first one of all of these that I would actually pick. Total amount of players to attempt a pass. I'm going over two and a half. Because you know Goff is going to throw it. You know Brady's going to throw it. You just need one other guy. And both of these teams have run plays this season to get somebody else to throw the football. That's right. And and the Rams are more likely to do it because they've had multiple guys do it. Robert Woods can throw the football. Um, It just depends on how the situation goes. Yeah, it depends on how the game goes. If it's really close, then, yeah, they'll be pulling trick plays out. Yep, but I'm going to go over two and a half. Um, will either team score in the final three and a half minutes of the game? You won't be able to bet on this anywhere other than in a party pack. Nope. Um, but I'm going to go. Gonna, yes. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. Uh, highest scoring quarter? Fourth quarter. Yeah, I would think the fourth quarter. I'm going fourth quarter. Um, I've got, will Mick Jagger or Christina Aguilera appear during the halftime show? No. This would have made news already. So when, when everybody I'm assumes that the guests are going to be all of the Atlanta people that people were upset that they didn't get asked to be in it. Can I address that for a minute? Yeah, absolutely. So like you, you hear about Atlanta has so many famous uh, hip hop guys. Why didn't one of them get asked to do this? It's very simple. The NFL, the Super Bowl, whoever puts this on has never used a local talent before ever. It's, it's been, been done, done in L.A. They, they don't, don't use somebody from L.A. When they did New Jersey, did they do – no, they had done Springsteen before Springsteen beforehand. beforehand. They yeah. didn't do it when they when – they didn't save him for Jersey. They don't care where it is played. They pick the act that they pick, and that's just what they do. Well, now, Big Boy is from Atlanta. So, like, he's he's doing this. But I, I think that might have been – a reaction to what you're talking about. So, but there there are a lot of a lot of Atlanta rappers and whatnot. I, I think if anybody does a special guest appearance, it will be one of them. It'll be a local guy to appease the local fans. But this is Zelo like Green. Or yeah, this whatever. is this is not a local show though. This no. is it's never been touted as that. No, it's so, a, this is a national show that just happens to be in this. City. That's right. They pick a different city every year. They got to play it somewhere, but they've never really cared. Where well, it was played places, based on who they were going to use. They've done it in Atlanta, what, this is the third time? Mm-hmm. They, they've done it in New Orleans multiple, multiple times, times, Miami multiple That's times, right. out on the, the West Coast in multiple LA, times. L.A., San Diego, and L.A.'s got tons of people they could have chosen. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those things where they, it's not a shot that they didn't pick a local person. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not a news story at all. By the way, you think Maroon 5 is big enough to be doing this? It, it's always somebody that's about to go on tour again. Well, yeah, but, like, I don't know who is big enough now. I mean, like, I'd love to see them do Metallica at some point. I'm, I'm the, but I'm the old guy, and I would much rather see them always bring an older group back or an older person back than a new person. Like, I just. Well, the older person Katie has Perry, a bigger national Katie Katy Perry doesn't do anything for me. 
Like that's just her show was cool. cool. That's fine, and it was not that it was a bad show, but it's just I'm not that target audience. I, I'm gonna tell you this: I'm Katy Perry's target audience. That's fine. Katy Perry's once, fine. Boy. Once again, that's that's okay. Ooh, that girl good looking. I'm, I'm just, my wife even knows this. She knows I'm a Katy Perry fan. I'm just not. I'm not, not so much the music, but you know. not the target audience for that. <laughs> I was super excited about Justin Timberlake last year, and very let down when. Yeah, we, you and I were watching this together. It was, it was one of the most disappointing halftime shows I'd ever seen. It was. Uh, it was I mean, I'm not asking you to be Michael. No, you know, you you don't you don't have to be one of the greatest of all time. You don't have to be Prince. You know, those are the two, in my opinion, best I've ever seen in my life. I'd like to see him do like Fleetwood Mac, something like that. You know, I, yeah, I, I'm good with that. I'd be I'd be great with that. Either, all right, let's jump back into uh, into the rest of this. Keep rolling. Uh, for those of you that are still watching the prop bets, we appreciate you guys. Uh, total times Donald Trump tweets during the game. Over, under, one and a half. No, I don't care. I'm going under one and a half. Uh, some people might care. Or not care like what he says or anything, but just care for their party pack. Uh, that's fine. That's okay. The color, of, the color of the Gatorade shower. Okay. Now, this is actually a prop that, that, that you can bet. You can bet this one. Now, now it, it won't be exactly this. this. You're gonna this have to pick a different color or whatever. Three options, one way, three options, another. You actually, you go into a casino. You got to pick the color. Right? Yeah, clear, green, yellow. I'm going with that one as opposed to red, blue, other because I know it will not be blue. The reason I say that, Jeff Schwartz from the Action Network talked about this, and the trainers have told him that it will always be like green yellow, orange, something like that, because the blue and the red, you have to mix, to like you have to pour the powder into the thing, and they're all too damn lazy to stir it up. So it's always going to be one of these other ones. Now, what I'm scared of is this one has red, blue, other. That other could be orange. Oh, yeah. So there's, there's clear, green, and yellow. I'm going to go with clear, green, and yellow because I think my chances are better because I know it's not going to be blue. So I have no idea. Super Bowl MVP. As long as it's going on Bill, I don't care. <laughs> Super Bowl MVP. Well, yeah, your I'm choices, going Tom. Your choices here are Tom or golf. I think if the Rams win, it, I don't even think it's golf that gets the MVP. No, it, I think. I mean, it could end up being Aaron Donald. Yeah, they could give it to a defensive player. Um, or it could be Gurley. I mean, Gurley could could have a he could show out. Have a monster game. I mean, it could be Robert Woods. I mean. I mean, there's yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. Um, and then anything for like total points scored and and which team will cover the spread. We covered that in our in our preview video. Go watch that one. Both go under. We both go past. But uh, I think I think that wraps it up. Not bad. I like the picks that you can actually bet on. I I actually bet on a lot of these. I think I have a. I'm I'm betting on a certain narrative on the first quarter in essence of the game. And if that happens, then I win all of them. If it doesn't, I lose them all. And that's the reason I'm worried about gambling. that is, you know, I mean, the Rams Patriots score first, it's over. I just lost all of them. If I'm not mistaken, the Patriots have not scored a single point in the first quarter in any Super Bowl that they've right. been in. But that stat, but I think was, that given out, that, that stat was given out uh, in a lot of these playoff games also. Yeah. I just don't know that, like I said, just because – Different team, different just, year, Just because it didn't happen 12 years ago. Doesn't mean it can't happen today. You got that right. All right, we gave you everything you need to know to be a winner. Go down to Tunica, Mississippi. Put your bets in at any of their six incredible sports books. You can find more information on all of those at tunicatravel.com. You can find more information about us at winningcureseverything.com. So go check that thing out. Subscribe on YouTube. Leave us some comments. Let us know what your favorite prop bets are. We'll see you guys next go round.